It's a great misconception that I was carrying around. You think jail, you think that's where criminals are. It's like, no, that's where people who got busted and were poor are. So why is that? And one big reason is this idea of money bail and this old practice we have of, of making people uh, pay amounts of money to, to get released. And the decision as to whether or not they will be forced to pay that money is often made by the prosecutor. That decision happens in a flash, just like this. And the time it takes me to walk from the front of the courtroom to behind the courtroom and meet my client for the first time. And the judge often accepts that, and that sets the tone for the entire trial. We have a, a, a money-sensitive justice system. And the less money you have, the more screwed you are, the more time you spend in jail. In the 1970s, uh, we're looking at only about 200 people in prisons and jails across the country, and today, uh, we have 2.3 million. If you look at that big 2.3 million chunk, uh, a large proportion of it uh, are people who have not been convicted of any crime and are presumed innocent. If the defendant is in jail, waiting for the case to get resolved. They might lose their housing, they might lose their job, their children might go into foster care or be placed with a relative. We now have very good evidence that just the fact of pretrial detention on its own raises the, the probability that you will be convicted uh, or plead guilty to an offense. Uh, and the DA just took a slightly different approach and said that perhaps the more important thing here is to allow this individual to go through this process without being in jail uh, may give that person a more honest chance at a better outcome. 